I'm here with Dr. Mikael Jakobsen from Milfo Hospital in Denmark, and he has just presented the results of the Ivano study here at Eurospine 2018 in Barcelona. Dr. Jakobsen, what were the most striking results of this study? Thank you for having me here. The most striking result is that uh, the fusion rate was more than doubled using uh, ABM15 I factor instead of uh, using allograft as we do a standard treatment in Denmark. Yeah. And why did you set out to do this study? Actually, it was a bit of a coincidence because uh, we were in lack of allografted bone in Denmark at that time. So we needed on shelf bone graft materials. Uh, and I went on a conference and I saw the I factor product. And uh, I looked into the literature and found that it had good results. And that's why we conducted an RCT using that material, actually. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the design of the Ivano study? Yeah. Uh, we wanted to have a strong study. We wanted to make an RCT. And uh, the power calculation was that we needed uh, 40 patients in each, in each group. And we successfully uh, had one, 101 patients in total approximately 50 patients in each group. So um, we need a strong correlation between uh, the PROMs, was primary uh, the Oswestry Disability Index and the uh, EQ5D and VAS as well. So uh, yeah, we want to make strong studies so we, we conduct an RCT. Yeah. And what implications do you think the results have for surgeons performing lumbar fusion in the elderly? Yeah. In the elderly, it's very difficult to enhance fusion rates. And <clears throat> back in the days, the fusion rates were around 20 to 30 percent. So even though we tried to enhance fusion, it was not always successful. So uh, actually, we were hoping that we could enhance the fusion rate to like 50, 60 or 70 percent. And we succeeded in doing it in 50 percent instead of 30 percent in the literature. So, it was a success, but still very uh, challenging environment to fuse. Yeah. And what implications do you think that has in terms of health economics? Well, we actually don't know that yet because we need a longer follow-up. Because one and two years out, there's no uh, difference between groups whether they are fused or not. So uh, we don't know that yet, but hopefully there's less uh, re-operation rate. And hence, because of that, uh, it's better economics. So what makes the I-factor different from other bone grafts? Yeah, uh, the thing I-factor does, it, the, the P15, uh, it attracts, it attaches and it activates uh, your own cells. So there's nothing foreign in your body, just that it just kickstarts your own uh, proliferation. So that's the major difference. Yeah. So optimal treatment for lumbar spinal stenosis is mm. still debated. Mm. What is the place for fusion and bone grafts in your practice? Yeah. In LED patients with, uh, with instability in the lumbar spine, we decompress the spinal canal and then we add fusion. And it's very uh, debated whether we should fuse or not. But some studies indicate that fusion is better on the long term. So that's why we fuse. And we don't instrument fuse because uh, the risk of uh, Losing of the instrumentation, infection, and so on, difficulties in reoperation. We don't do it instrumented, so we do a non-instrumented fusion in Scandinavia. A standard. Yeah. So, could you describe for me a typical patient and case in which you would use I factor? Yeah, an elderly patient, female elderly patient with a degenerative listesis and spinal stenosis, where we need to decompress and make sure that uh, we don't need to operate afterwards because. We know that when we decompress, there's a risk of further instability afterwards. And what would be your main message about these findings to other spine specialists? Uh, my main findings is that in a very different, uh, sorry, in a very difficult environment where we need to fuse, this method actually doubles the fusion rate compared to standard treatment. Uh, we found no adverse events. Uh, there was not a 100% fusion rate, we know that, because it's a very challenging environment, but uh, it's much better than we, the materials we used normally. So that's the message. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Thank you.